All right, so in this video, I want to have a look at how you can use Breeze FX in tokens uh, to create more dynamic uh, AI experiences. Now, this is particularly useful if you need to offer guests a choice of skin tone, gender, hair types, and things like that. Now, I'm going to show you what we've done in our trading card uh, demo. This is not going to be the full demo on the trading card um, our user experience, just I'm going to focus on how, how we've used uh, tokens. There will be a full demo and a template coming for this exact experience, uh, but you'll have to bear with me for that one. It's coming soon. So what I'm going to do is just quickly run through this one start to finish just so you can see how it works and we're going to concentrate on tokens and the AI side of things more so than the text. So I'm just going to go through so I'll hit the start button, so it's going to ask me to pick my position, which is just about um, entering text on the final output, uh, my shirt number, uh, name. Uh, now this is the bit that we're more interested in here is uh, the gender and the skin tone, because this allows us to fine tune the AI towards the specific person that is in the image. So we can choose a gender and then we can choose a skin tone. So in this case, we're going to choose a male uh, with say a light skin tone. So we'll go ahead, and go ahead and hit next, and I'll take the photo. And so that will return, once it's processed, that will return a version of the AI as me, as a male, um, with a light skin tone. So we'll have a look at the result for that. Um, should have taken my glasses off, so we'll probably see a little bit of uh, weirdness going on around, around the eyes. Um, so otherwise, that's a, that's a pretty good result. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and run that. I'm just going to do something um, clearly uh, not correct. So I'll just skip through this. And I'll go female, and I'll go um, much darker skin. I'll take my glasses off this time. I'll take a photo. And we'll see in this example how... Uh, the output's going to be tailored towards uh, a female with a lot darker skin uh, than I have. Um, so this is just a, you know, a fairly, and, and you can take this sort of concept to the next level by adding a lot more options than I've got in this example. Um, but we can see here that um, it still sort of resembles me, but the output has been tailored. So what I want to concentrate is on how we went about doing that. So we'll jump into Windows. All right, so what we've got here is our AI trading card event and we need to get into the uh, touchscreen actions. Now, I'm not going to show you how to set all of this up. I'm just going to show you how it's currently working. So we're using survey screens to collect all this data. So in terms of the uh, position uh, and the name, these are all custom survey screens, including uh, survey four, which is our gender and skin tone. So we have two radio buttons here uh, to select our gender. And if we edit each of those, uh, you'll see that we have set the uh, button group as gender, and then we have an option for male, and then we have an option for female. Now, of course, if you wanted to, you could add a non-gender um, option as well, and it just require a bit more setup, um, both in the breeze end and also on the AI end, which we'll get to in a sec. Then we have another set of radio buttons for skin tone, and the group is called skin. And then we have the, uh, the ID for each one. So I think we've got black, uh, tan, and white. And obviously there's more than three skin tones, so you could actually add a lot more. And if you wanted to, you could obviously also add ethnicities uh, if you thought that would help. But all of that is just more setup work that you need to do, but all completely possible. So what we've got here is these radio buttons. So when they're selected, Breeze is gonna return the result of the gender as either male or female, or the skin tone is either black, tan, or white. Now, the important thing is here is to have a look at how we've set up our uh, post-pressing URL. So previously, um, well, normally when you're adding in the URL, you're just copy and pasting something from here exactly as it is, and you're going straight into Breeze, and that's it. That's all you have to do. But what we're now doing is pulling the survey data and dynamically updating this URL based on the results. So what we've got here is the URL to our company for BreezeFX, but then instead of the specific uh, token for a one particular FX, we're keeping it dynamic. So we're using survey4 underscore radio underscore gender to return the gender that was selected, dash survey4 underscore radio underscore skin, which will then return the color of the skin. So when the survey is filled in, Breeze will be sending this URL, but it will be male-tan, or it'll be female-white. Now that's important because what we've done here 
in the setup end in uh, Breeze FX is we've created all those variations of the players and the skin tones. So you can see here I've got a basketball player, male, white, orange shirt, uh, white, uh, then basketball player, male, black, orange shirt, male, tanned, orange shirt, and we've got the same for the female, uh, female, black, female, white, female, tanned. Now the important thing is, is the URL. And I've mentioned in my previous videos that you don't need to worry about changing the token, uh, but when you're doing something like this, you can change the token to something that's going to work for what you're doing in Breeze. So I have called this male-black, and if we go back and say have a look at one of the options for uh, the female uh, female black, and we go edit. The URL or the token is female dash black. So we're following a very consistent pattern here where the uh, URL or the token for that configuration is gender dash skin tone. And that correlates directly to what we've set up in Breeze. So therefore, when someone selects the female survey option and the black female option, we're passing those variables, female dash black, into the event editor here as part of this URL. Then Breeze is looking for in Breeze FX, the configuration that matches female dash black, male dash tanned, female dash white, etc. And so that's why it's extremely powerful and uh, it opens up a lot of opportunities, not just for skin tone and gender, it could be hair color, it could be uh, sporting choices, it could be color of, uh, of the shirts people are wearing, anything you can think of, and there's really no limit to how many you could have. Uh, so you could literally have thousands or hundreds of thousands of options. Of course, the downside is you have to also pre-create um, all of the output. Um, so that's how we achieve that aspect of the trading card demo where people could easily select their gender and skin tone in a fun and intuitive way in the user interface and all the hard work and heavy lifting has been done behind the scenes using tokens in the event editor and Breeze FX. Uh, it's a more advanced thing, so if you've just jumped into Breeze, this might be a little bit to get your head around, but if anyone that's used surveys or tokens in Breeze previously should be able to grasp this pretty quickly, but if you have any questions, jump into the comments and let me know.